I think it's on the expected line. Uh, if you see, uh, there are two factors that have played out uh, behind this policy. One is the uh, decline in uh, retail inflation. For the three consecutive months, uh, uh, retail inflation has been on a decline. In February numbers is 8.1, which is very close to 8 percent. That's the target for uh, January 2015. And second part is this, uh, you have to see that um, uh, Reserve Bank of India, uh, the new governor has raised the rate uh, thrice between September and January, 75 basis points. So, you have to give time to, you know, uh, to this rate hike play out. So, the combination I would think uh, that is the prompted uh, Reserve Bank to uh, for the status quo, it's it's on the expected line. Well, governor has said uh, if the inflation trajectory is in sync with its uh, projection, uh, then um, in the short term there is no um, chance of any rate hike. Um, but I would not completely rule out um, because there are various uncertainties, uh, particularly monsoon. So yes, there is no rate hike in the immediate future. But if the uh, monsoon plays truant and if certain other factors and also the new government, um, we have to see the fiscal policy, so on and so forth. So I would not rule out a possibility of a rate, rate hike in the third quarter of uh, fiscal year. No, I, I think Reserve Bank of India governor uh, stated uh, policy is to focus on inflation. It's, it's only uh, um, if you have uh, l uh, on a sustained basis low inflation, then only you can ensure growth. So that that's that's uh, that's the factor. Uh, that factor is still plays on. So he will not let his guard um, down against inflation. I think inflation continues to be uh, continues to remain enemy number one. Um, Governor Rajan has made it extremely clear right from the beginning that uh, um, uh, if we want to have growth. Um, uh, we need to have low inflation. So, he will never uh, uh, let his guard down against inflation. Yes and no, because it has accepted officially whatever RBI can do, but certain areas Reserve Bank of India cannot do on its own. The, uh, it needs to, uh, needs to do something along in the government. For instance, uh, inflation mandate. Now, the mandate has to be given by the government, by, by parliament and uh, under the Bank of India will follow that. Similarly, about the monetary policy committee, uh, um, uh, formation of the monetary policy committee. So, these are the two key recommendations. They have not been in the sense, uh, unless the government steps in, Reserve Bank of India cannot accept it. But yes, 8% uh, um, uh, um, CPI target for January 2015, 6% CPI target for January 2016 and other monetary measures like uh, shifting banks uh, focus from uh, daily report to, to term report so on and so forth. That is a Bank of India accepted and uh, gradually it's it's been taking measures in sync with the policy, uh, in sync with the Ujjit Patil committee. But uh, the government needs to come in on board uh, um, on the two critical recommendations if Reserve Bank of India wants to accept. That is the formation of the monetary policy committee as well as officially having uh, CPI inflation as an anchor rate, as, as an anchor for monetary policy.